52 episodes, 12 pay-per-views, tournaments, battle royals, tag team breakups, championships introduced, everything from top to bottom, and we are finally here at the biggest show of the year. We are at Chaos Mania, and I am your host, general manager, CEO, and future match later in the card, but I am Neo Extreme. And what a hell of a card we have today. We have the six-man elimination tag between Adam Saban, Ken Snow, and Malik Ladan teaming together to take on World Elite members Eddie Knight, Loki Suzuki, and Antonio Blackwell, who is going to win the very first match in, in, in Chaos Mania history. We'll find out very shortly, but first... To the second of our 14th matches, we will see an Elimination Tornado Tag Match for the NCW Women's Championship. Or, oh, should be for the Women's Championship. Anyway, Akira Ray Casey winners, the new champions. But these four ladies, they will have the NCW Women's Championship later on in the match. In the card, I should say. Which one of these four, however... I mean, which one of these two teams, however... Is walking out the new women's tag team champions and then we got the Prince of Hardcore taking defending his hardcore championship against the monster of the ultimate nightmares we have David Cassidy versus Drew Kennedy which which one of these two hardcore monsters are gonna walk out of this extreme rules match as the hardcore champion then we will see Tiger Rose finally get his one-on-one -on -one Intercontinental Championship match against two-time IC champion Joey Hartman. Who will be walking out of Chaos Mania Intercontinental Champion. We find out in full matches. And then we will have a 30-man over-the-top rope battle royale to determine who is going... Who is going to be the first ever Chaos, Chaos Royale winner. I don't know. It's basically kind of like the Andre the Giant Memorial Battle Royale, but nobody's got a fucking name big enough to have a Battle Royale named after him. Either way, who's going to win this Royal Rumble and possibly get a championship match on episode 53 for the NCW World Title? Then we will see a six-woman Battle Royale to determine who will get the next shot at the NCW Women's Championship after the night. Whoever loses out of Akira Ray, Casey Winners, Sonya Steele, and Roxanne Riviera, the other three will be out of the Women's Championship picture. And the winner of this match will be earning their next shot. Who's it going to be? We'll find out later. But then we will go to our... the ma We will go to our six-man elimination chamber match for the NCW United States Championship. We will see former champion Aaron Crimson... Bobby Cook, Bruce Coleman, Black Jesus, and Ken Phillips all look to capture the title again from the hands of the party, the Prince of Mardi Gras himself, Andy Cox. Which one, which one of these six men are going into the new year as the United States Champion? Anyway, there's other matches on the card, but we will get to them later. For now, let's focus on these seven classics kicking off of our tag match. No. <laughs> anyway, here we go. First match of the night. As the sun's starting to set. What the hell? What's up with the NX? What's up with the NXT? That's weird. Does Adam Saban start representing NXT? I don't know. Either way, this basically came from... Oh shit, right. It's because of the background. Anyway, as I was saying, this basically came from uh, Ken Phillips' betrayal of Adam Saban. Ken Phillips teaming up with World Elite, basically going behind his back. And Ken Phillips betraying him to go to join World Elite. 
Saban, of course, wasn't invited into that group. And now Saban wants retribution on his old former tag partner, his old running buddy. But first, he's got to get through all three members of World Elite. However, that's one um, something you can't do alone. And he has picked up Ken Snow and Malik Ladan to assist him. Ken Snow, former tag team champion, he knows a little bit about tag team wrestling. He spent his entire career thus far in NCW in a tag team. But Adam Saban needed partners for this match. Malik Ladan went out the back, offered his hand. Ken Snow joining his tag partner in the joining his partner in the uh, crusade to slay World Elite. Not to mention it gets you a match on the biggest card or on the on the biggest stage of NCW. I mean, look at that arena. Chaos Mania. Where all hell is gonna break loose. You'd think he would have brought out like a uh, some kind of new ring gear for this match. But nope, looks like he looks like being the first match on Chaos Mania doesn't need you to dress up in a six man tag match. Anyway, out coming Malik Ladan, former four-time champion, two-time United States, one-time Intercontinental, one-time tag. He also has beef with World Elite. After all, he was eliminated from the All-Stars tournament by Eddie Knight in the first round. Which was later won by um, Golden Titan. But Malik Ladan... He's, he's seeking a little bit of retribution on the World Elite now. He, he's that kind of guy. He'll accept defeat, but he wouldn't mind getting back into the ring with the one who defeated him. Mm. Honestly, I think Malik Ladan would be one of the top 10 stars of NCW this season thus far I think he'd be ranked around number 8 or 7 look at that alliance and here comes Mr. America of World Elite Eddie Knight making it to the final eight of the All-Stars tournament a former United States champion he used to he used to enjoy the red white and blue but now he goes with the red white and black the trademark colors of World Elite He earned the big victory over Adam Saban a few weeks ago. And then before that he defeated Malik Ladan. Now he's looking to beat all three of them. Ken Snow included. Of course Malik Ladan and Ken Snow on episode 51 I believe. Fifty-one or fifty-two in a tag match, Malik Dan and Ken Snow picked up a victory over Loki Suzuki, the Japanese sensation, and 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 and, 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 and 
and Antonio Blackwell. Loki Suzuki being eliminated in the first round of the All-Stars tournament. Has yet to win a championship here in NCW. I'm pretty sure he's got to be clapping his hands together soon and hoping, but he's still good enough to make it to All Star or oh, Chaos Mania. Still got a little pride left in him, even after he sold his soul to the World Elite. And out comes man number four. I mean number six, third man to the team. I think he was the last one to join World Elite, and that being Antonio Blackwell, the King of Snap Style, the Prince of Broken Bones, the traveling elite of destroying joints and tearing muscles. But Antonio Blackwell still has yet to win a championship, same as Loki, in NCW. Huh, interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I don't know, Saban seems a little mad in the corner. But, what has just become interesting is if Blackwell and Suzuki win, they earn the next Tag Team Championship opportunity. If Snow and Malik Ladan win, they get the next title opportunities, but Eddie Knight and Adam Saban, whoever wins that gets a shot the next shot at the Intercontinental Championship. Interesting. Oh, shot to the face. Saban now. Oh, beautiful dragon suplex there. Souffle. But here we go, Irish whip now. Off the ropes. Oh, a bit of a collision, but Adam Saban able to able to stay in control only for a short while. And there we go, back swaps. Three in total. Oh, Eddie Nice says, I'm done with swapping. Pump handle, back suplex. Here he goes, tagged into Loki Suzuki. I think he's the only member who doesn't wear the red, but he wears it on his flag. Oh, big European uppercut. Knocks him down. I really wish you could have like seven colors. I mean, Eddie Knight would have his red, white, and blue. His gold, blue, and... I think it was gold, white, and black. Oh, beautiful drop kick. Mm -hmm. Something to do with breast cancer would be pink, white, and black. But anyway, stomp to the gut. Here we go. Saving ready to fly. Frog splash misses. Loki Suzuki in control here. Only for a short while, but you gotta think it's dangerous for Saving to stay in the match. Here he goes. Neck breaker. Oh, Loki Suzuki with the counter. Tags into Blackwell. Malik Ladan and Ken Snow, they haven't been in this match yet. There's just been one man focus on Saban. Here we go. All in, all out. A beautiful shin kick to the uh, spine. But Blackwell, Irish whip into the corner now. Setting Saban on that top rope. Oh, back elbow. Oh, and a beautiful missile drop kick, taking Blackwell off his feet. But of course, he doesn't stay off for long. He's back up. Blackwell looking to go high riskier. 
Here he goes. Oh, knee across the face, but misses. It looked like it hit, but Stephen must have just avoided it by the inch. But of course, Blackwell's still in control of this match. Here he goes, big back suplex in the middle of the ring, goes for the cover. All in, one, two, kick out by Saban. I think Eddie and I just hit a power bomb there. I mean a power slam. But remember, World Elite is a union, is, is a union of technique. Well, look at that, trying to snap the joint. We're gonna see a tap out, no breakups. Breakup, I mean. I don't know, Kinsel and Malik Lidem both broke up, broke it up. Oh, saving, saving the arm. You might need that forearm a little later on in that match, in the match. The Saban's still fighting. Oh, Blackwell slamming that arm into the ground. Goes for the cover now. One, two. The other members of World Elite taking care of Snow and Lodan, but look at Saban. Saban, Saban bomb. That's got to be it. Blackwell. He could be the first one eliminated in this match. One, two, oh no, kick out. Blackwell's still in this one. As Ken Snow took out everybody on the other side of the ring. Saban now looking to go high risk here. Oh no, Eddie Knight. Oh, super belly to belly suplex. Just takes him down off the top. Blackwell was out on his feet when that happened. Saban is just being worked over here. Eddie Knight says, come on, bring it. I don't care what I just did. I'm proud of what I did. And here he goes. Looking for that shoulder breaker, but it got counted into a DDT. Goes in for the cover. Again, one, two. Oh, Bulldog by Eddie Knight. Counter by Blackwell. And a kick to the gut. What's he got in mind here? Because he's looking for that shoulder breaker. Oh! It was like a reverse pile driver on his shoulder, but missing the head and hitting the shoulder. I mean, on his knee. But, uh, I don't know, my tongue got tired. So excited for Chaos Mania. But Eddie Knight now looking to go high risk. 450 splash misses. I think he overshot. Look at this, Melik and Ken Snow, they won in this match. With Saban, he's got a lot to prove. Of course, it might come at the cost of his career if he keeps going like this. Irish whip now into the corner. Oh, boot to the face, Eddie Knight. Oh, electric chair. Electric chair bridging drop. Oh, electric chair drop with the bridging pin, I should say. Here he goes. Knight's Claymore coming right up. Oh. Saving in a world of trouble, but history might repeat itself. And Eddie might, Eddie Knight might pin Adam Saban for a second time. Oh, here we go. Even in the corner of his enemies, he still hits that rolling forearm. But Eddie Knight not staying down. These two men looking for their trademark bomb attacks. I think Eddie Knight's looking for that nice bomb. Saban looking for that Saban bomb, baby. But he's just beating into that knee. Here he goes. Looking for that Knight's bomb. 
proved his power one with the superior finishing move. And oh, Loki and Blackwell taking everybody out, saving no help. That could be it. One, two, three. No, Saban able to kick out. Adam Saban not done yet. But World Elite, what a game plan they have had thus far. Target Adam Saban. What's Eddie Knight trying to do here? I think he's trying to go up that. He's trying to go up the ring post. Not tag to Loki Suzuki. Eddie Knight is done with him. But Saban counters with that European uppercut. Dragged him away from the corner of World Elite. Up on the shoulders now. Spins him around. Airplane spin. And. Oh! Fireman is carried downwards. He's finally making the tag to Melek Ladan. And here we go. The former full time champion in the match. Oh, but a high knee from Loki Suzuki right across the jaw. Look at Saban on the outside, he can barely hang on. Malik Ladan taking Loki Suzuki by surprise. Malik Ladan's going to be the most, most athletic in this match. And here he goes, looking springboard. Diving cross body. I don't think he got all of it, but he got most of it. And he goes for the cover. One. Neck breaker by Ken Snow to Eddie Knight. Takes him out. Adam Saban. Looking suplex on Loki Suzuki. Adam Seed's hatred boiling over for him. And here we go. Inverted DDT. On Loki Suzuki, adding to the punishment of that snap suplex. Now look at them, what's he got in mind here? Up on the shoulders. Gut buster. Single knee gut buster. But Loki Suzuki, no selling. But now look at them, back continuing to fight. And here he goes for that arm bar. He's watching the corner of Eddie Knight and Antonio Blackwell. It looks like everything was broken up. Blackwell, he knows what that move's like because he's the one who mastered it. But here we go, we could be looking for a Ladan twist. Oh, and there it is. Loki Suzuki could be out of this one. Blackwell gone. Two. That's three. Loki Suzuki, first man eliminated. I think the legal man now is Antonio Blackwell but World Elite is down one member man you might actually get the faces winning tonight but Blackwell slamming the face of Malik Ladan into the ground that hard concrete floor there is no padding no shag carpet it is just pure concrete Antonio Blackwell dominating Malik Ladan on the outside. We're up to a four count. Arsh went back into the ring now. We're at three to two now in this elimination match. But now they're going to take all their focus on Malik Ladan. Here he goes, leg drop to the arm. Referees. Surprise for some reason. Here we go, looking to break that arm. Adam Saban not afraid to get in the ring and break it up. But Phoenix, middle rope Phoenix Flash, definitely effective. Eddie Knight now looking to eliminate Malik Ladan. I think Blackwell just used his head for a distraction. But here we go. Eddie Knight looking to go top rope. Begging 
Malik Ladan to stand. Here he goes, diving cross body. Perfectly hits it. Irish Web counter over the top rope. Eddie Knight goes. Malik Ladan letting him back in to tag in the Ken Snow. Ken Snow, the freshest man in this match. You can see Adam Saban holding his rib cages. Look. Oh no, he counted he counted the knight sword into a German suplex. Eddie Knight in a world of trouble here. One kick out. Malik Ladan leaving the ring now as Ken Snow looking to walk over Eddie Knight. He's kick. Oh, tried to kick there but failed. Eddie Knight looking pump handle. No, gut wrench suplex or gut wrench power bomb. Not exactly going to mind. But he cut out the knee and here comes Malik Ladan to take the cover. But no, easy breakup. Blackwell, he's got to be careful if he leaves, if he gets counted in the ring and disqualified, he'd leave Eddie Knight to a three on one advantage. There he goes, Malik Wadan getting booted away here. Eddie Knight needs to come back strong with an elimination. Oh, Knight Sword! Hooks the leg. One, two, break up by Ken Snow. Leg drop. A good old American leg drop. And a wind up elbow across the back of the head, doing a little bit of damage to Malik Ladan before he's looking to set him up for that night bomb kick to the gut here he goes is Saban going to be able to take this back down to two to two verse two? Oh, nails it perfectly oh tornado ddt takes out ken snow but malik ladan is eliminated we are down to two versus two ken snow and adam Saban versus blackwell and S no wait, what did I say? Eddie Knight. Eddie Knight and Antonio Blackwell versus Adam Saban and Ken Snow. This is back to anyone's game. The Saban Irish ripped across the rim into the corner. It was looking like he was setting up for that elbow, that roaring forearm, but no, got counted into a turnbuckle powerbomb. Saban is in a world of trouble now. One, two, three, no. Saban's still fighting on somehow. But Loki Suzuki has been eliminated from World Elite. Malika Ladan eliminated from the um, Snow Ladan Saban Alliance. Who's going to be receiving the title opportunities? Oh, kick to the head. Here we go, Irish whip into the, into the corner now. What's he got in mind? Setting him up on that top turnbuckle. Oh, back elbow counter. And a diving chop takes him down. But able to get out of it. Saban now dragging him across the ring. But Eddie Knight staying out of harm's way at least for now. Saban dead set on a tag move. But he took a back suplex for his troubles. And now Eddie Knight looking to put him away with one more nice bomb. This could be it. Oh no! Blackwell cut him off. 
Blackwell win for the uh, take out take out uh, Ken Snow, but it cost his partner the finishing move. He dropped Saban, but he didn't get the full impact of the Knight's bomb. Here we go, inverted exploder suplex. Saban looking to come back here. Here he goes for the cover. Could be it for Eddie Knight. One, two. Blackwell thrown out of this match. I really want to see this come down to Saban and Knight, but that doesn't appear to be the case. But Adam Saban looking to do it right, looking to go for that Saban bomb. Here he goes, kick to the gut. Oh, Saban bomb. Drags him to the middle of the ring now. Ken Snow going off to Blackwell. One, two, no. Saban able to kick out. And Saban looking to go flying. Crossbody. Nailing Eddie Knight with that crossbody. Ooh, swing and a miss. Eddie Knight, back suplex. Saban landing on his feet. There he goes. Snap suplex. Somehow Eddie Knight got busted open from that one. Saban looking to cover him. The nose. These two are drawing out the best in each other. And Saban just plain out boots him and square in the gut. Tag made to Ken Snow. Who seems to go straight to the top rope. We're gonna go high risk here. Begging him to stand. I wonder what the uh, rocks the rock star has got in mind. Oh, beautiful neck breaker. Or oh, blockbuster off the top rope. There he goes. Oh, oh, that big guitar smash. Oh, just dropping a knee right on that open wound. But Eddie Knight. Oh no, roll up. One, two, kick out by Eddie Knight. Face soaked in blood. Whoever, whoever wins this is, you know, not going to be able to fight for those belts. And kick to the knee. Oh no, here we go. Knight Claymore to the Rockstar. Time to slice that show in half. Time to cut it short. One, two, no, kick out. By Ken Snow. Oh, shot to the gut. Jacks the jaw, Eddie Knight staying in control for a second. Ken Snow. Oh, lifting DDT. There he goes, looking for that guitar smash. That uh, curtain closer, I should say. But Eddie Knight standing on his side. Ken Snow couldn't hit him properly. Couldn't go for it uh, properly. Oh, boot to the face. Here we go. Oh, double arm face buster. Alright, we're back into the corner. Ken Snow. Looking for that drive by. Oh, double boost to the side of the head. Saban across the ring, taking out Blackwell. But Eddie Knight, he says, I don't need Blackwell. I can do this myself. Here he goes, another Knight's Claymore annihilating the rock star. He wants that Intercontinental Championship opportunity. So does Saban. Oh, and off the leg drop. That could be it. One, no. Rope break. Saban taking out Eddie Knight. 
Dragon Sleeper. Saban needs to get out of that ring or else he can kiss the end results of this match goodbye. Or at least if he wants to stay the winner. Ken Stun begging him to stand. Is he looking for a guitar smash? No. Well, he might be. But Eddie Knight won't let him. Here we go, Eddie Knight looking for that Knight, Knight's bomb. It's a move that won him the United States title. Oh no, counter. Counter by Ken Snow. Kick to the gut, into the corner, running knee. Followed up by a drag out clothesline. Ken Snow possibly looking for that looking for that curtain close and guitar smash. But he's gonna get him in the back of the head. He got him in the he got him square in the back of the head. Eddie Knight is out. But Ken Snow doesn't go for the win. Oh, running knee to the gut. What's, what's Eddie not doing? Can, doesn't he know the difference? We uh, know the distance between them, or is he just trying to pressure him to stand up? Hit him! Oh, he was waiting just to kick him in the face twice. Holy shit! I've never seen that much blood in a tag match. On one person at least. Oh, beautiful destruction there by Eddie Knight. Tags in the black hole and Ken Snow wasn't watching. Oh! Blackwell goes low into the face buster. And a leg drop across the back of the arm. Oh, Phoenix Flash clothesline takes out the ref. And Blackwell does not seem to care. Taking out the referee like that. And now he's just working on that open wound. His close fist. Look at that. Oh, that shoulder breaker. Looking to snap that arm make that guitar smash useless oh blocks the kick we're gonna break that arm a little more weaken it up soften it snap it well what's he planning here oh it looks like he's going for that master lock that armbar that master armbar break saving too worn out to save him. But Ken Snow able to get out of it. Arm still intact, just. He went for that big forearm smash. Ooh, counter for counter. Here he goes, kick to the gut. Now just dragging his face across the top rope. Oh, horror Karana DDT face first into the mat. Hey, look at that little NCW in the corner. There we go. Oh, I thought we were going to see Rainmaker. These guys going counter for counter. Oh, Bla Blackwell still goes after that arm. Tags in Eddie Knight. Could we look at the elimination here? Eddie Knight chanting, I mean, taunting the crowd. Says, I'm going to win. Defeat your favorites. And book the first ever victory in Chaos Mania history. 
big back elbow across the back of the head. Oh, kicks out the knee. High trip into the corner now. What's he got in mind? Here we go. Laying down those reins of boot. Tag made by Saban. He, he reins in those boots a lot faster. But then again, his face isn't busted wide open like Ken Snow's is. But here we go, big corner drop kick. That could be it for Eddie Knight. One, two, no. Eddie Knight is still in this somehow. And Ken Snow out on his feet. There we go, crossbody, across the spine. Whoa, Irish whip. Oh no, Saban's gonna take Eddie Knight to hell. Suplex to the concrete floor. These four, they've given each other absolutely everything they can. And I think it's time to save the match. Looks like he was going for that inverted suplex. And now he's setting him up for that Knight's Claymore. Oh, and he nails it. That could be it. That could be Adam Saban gone. One, two, no. Saban's still somehow hanging on. He's he's hulking up. Oh, goes for a kick to the gut, but Saban cuts him off. Time to time to end Saban, baby. There he goes up and down. That is the nice bomb. That could be it. One, two, three. No, no, no. Saban is still alive. He will not die until his heart beats that final beat. What is Saban made of? Saban's like, now Saban's going to show Eddie Knight what a power bomb looks like. Introduce you to the saving bomb, baby. He rolls right on for recover. One, two, three. No. They they keep kicking out of everything they've got to throw. These two men, they want to earn the first victory of Chaos Mania, and Adam Saban is going to high risk. I think Ken Snow and Antonio Blackwell, they're just supporting actors in this one. Look at Saban, he's exhausted. Eddie Knight is busted wide open. Ken Snow is busted wide open. Blackwell is just exhausted as much, but Ken Snow not tagging in. He says, I know I know how these tag matches go. I'm not being beaten. Oh, back suplex. Remember, Ken Snow has nothing. Ken Snow has no real motivation in this match except now that he could be earning a tag team title match. But here we go. Top rope. Diving elbow drop. Makes the Makes the easiest build of moves look great. And here he goes, rolls over, hooks the legs, picks him up. Alabama slam, no. Into the neck breaker. Over the, sh over the knee. 89, hands raised in the air. Like he's won the match, but no. These two have hit each other with their best moves. Knight sword. That could be the final one. One, two, kick out. Saban not done yet. 
and he not he seems to disagree as he goes for one more night oh Blacko runs into the ref no there's a nice bomb again one two three Adam Saban his time at Chaos Mania is at, a, at an end but now we're down to a two on one handicap match World Elite has basically regained this from a from a uh, two three disadvantage oh beautiful moonsault from the outside hitting Ken Snow but now it's up to Ken Snow can he pull out the victory not once but twice can he get two separate eliminations as Saban walks off to the back it's down to the man with the most experience in NCW oh angle slam on the outside oh beautiful European uppercut uh, oh lifting DDT on the outside on the concrete that could be that the end of the match for uh, Eddie Knight but if this goes to a double count out Blackwell wins the match Antonio Blackwell could end up winning this no Ken Snow screwed up he wasn't paying attention to the count he screwed the match by punishing Eddie Knight look at that just world elite Sixum which is world elite once again goes for the uh, sicking Look at that double clothesline. If this was a normal six man tag match, sure enough, Saban, Snow, and Ladan would have won, but this was elimination. World Elite gets the final. They might have lost the first battle, but they ended up winning the war. Oh, that was got to be the moment of the night. That must have felt too sweet for Eddie Knight. Pinning Saban. Yeah, that's how the match really ended. But Loki Suzuki out to celebrate with his boys. As that is the first match in NCW Chaos Mania history. World Elite. With tag and Intercontinental Championship title opportunities coming their way. Well... Wow.